This is TFC HQ presented by Kia. All-Star Week is here across Major League Soccer, but here at the Kia Training Grounds, Toronto FC still flying high after a statement victory on the weekend. Gareth Wheeler with you. Yes, Michael Bradley, Josie Altid, or Sebastian Javinko will feature with the MLS All-Stars Wednesday night against Real Madrid against Chicago and Jordan Hamilton taking part in the homegrown game as well. So plenty of TFC players and representatives will be on hand over the course of All-Star festivities. But meanwhile, for this team, a 4-0 victory over NYC FC on Sunday. It was the result of the weekend in Major League Soccer and keeps Toronto FC in a very strong position in pursuit of the supporter shield atop the standings in Major League Soccer. And on top of that, feel good stories. It wasn't just Sebastian Javinko with two goals on the weekend or Josie Altador returning to score from the penalty spot. It was yet another first goal in Major League Soccer. Three consecutive games, three consecutive first goals ever scored in MLS. First, it was Ashton Morgan in Yankee Stadium against NYC FC, followed by Jay Chapman at home against the Colorado Rapids, scoring his first goal in MLS. And to finish things off, it was Raheem Edwards' turn last weekend, scoring the final goal in the 4-0 victory. A special moment for all three, especially the Brampton native in Edwards, finally finding the back of the net. Yeah, I got a few congratulations from the, from the staff and everyone here. And, uh, yeah, sunk in and also it was a good one. Next up for Toronto FC is a trip to take on DC United this coming weekend. And the way the game is officiated will change this weekend. VAR is being introduced. It's video replay. And according to the league, the technology will be utilized in clear and obvious errors or serious missed incidents in four game-changing situations. Goals, penalty decisions, direct red cards, and cases of mistaken identity. It's being welcomed by some in the league. It's a little bit peculiar peculiar is being introduced in the middle of the season but for Vanny it's something that will bring value to the game. Uh, I think it'll be interesting I, I look forward to with an open mind to seeing how it impacts the games um, you know hopefully positively at the end of the day I think all of us want uh, the right call made in the right moment and you know the deserving team to be the team that comes out on top at the end um, when it comes to the calls and things like that, obviously. So I think we all just have to be open-minded to see how it goes. But, um, but I think there's a real possibility for this to be a success, and we'll just see how it all plays out. The All-Star break isn't an easy thing for Toronto FC to deal with. Having so many players away taking part in the festivities, it's a complicated situation, especially for players like Bradley and Altidore who've already been away on Gold Cup duty. For head coach Greg Vanny, it's just another bump on the road. Uh, I find it more disruptive than anything, but it's a spectacle for the league, and it's something that all of our leagues in North America do, so you understand it. But for all of us, especially just coming out of the Gold Cup when teams are away, it's a little bit disruptive, again, to lose guys when you're trying to get back in the swing of things. Uh, you know, the good news is, is we're, we're in a solid position right now, and, um, and it's only a couple days, and we'll get guys back, and we'll start to move forward for the rest of the year. On the injury front, Oyvind Allseth, it is being confirmed, will miss at least a week. He suffered a laceration on the top of his foot in a challenge against NYCFC. So that will provide a position, a gap at right back for this weekend's travels to DC United. But first, it's a homegrown game coming your way Tuesday night, 8 p.m. on MLS Live. Then it's the All-Star game. The MLS All-Stars taking on Real Madrid, the European champions coming your way 8.30 p.m. on Wednesday night on TSN.